A new delusion? Well, at least it's clear that he's not trying to hide. My sources tell me Kasuga Yuki and the delusion contractor Cannon disappeared into that delusionscape. Rei Rei, do you think... <laughs> yeah, good thing your intuition is sharp. What are we waiting for? Let's crush them underneath our heels! Don't be so hasty, Ko. I can't think of a better time to be hasty. I can keep fighting too. Ugh, you have ruined my moment by trying to join in. Don't do that again! They're going to be expecting us to run in after them. We're all pretty pooped too. Reiji and Ryu are right. Time might be the only asset we do have right now. We can take the time to fully prepare before we give chase. Are you kidding me? Kasuga Yuki has betrayed the DAB, meaning that he has nowhere to run. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's nothing he can do but lie low inside this delusion for the foreseeable future. So we've got him then, like a rat in a trap. What's the problem with putting him out of his misery now? No, I'm also with Mizuki on this. For real, Asahi? Then what do you suggest we do? I don't know. Yet. All I know is that chasing after him right this minute feels like a very, very bad idea. But this is our moment. Why would you let it pass us by unclaimed? Because of you. All of you. Huh? Am I the only one here talking sense? Kasuga has nowhere to go but here. So this isn't a temporary situation. He's in the trenches, ready for war. But we, we have a place to call our own. A place where we can kick back and heal our souls. So let's take advantage of that. Let's rest up, then invade the enemy base once we find ourselves in perfect form. <laughs> okay, I can live with that. Thanks, you guys. A place to call our own, huh? Is something wrong, Saki? No, it's just... I'm kind of happy to hear that. <laughs> it's the same for me, actually. Well, now that that's settled, I'm gonna head back. I've been parched for a while now and need some refreshment. Yeah, we wouldn't want you sobering up. I might as well get to bed now so I can rise and shine bright and early tomorrow. Um, then I guess I should go too. And stuff your face with how many bowls of rice before you pass out? Tell me, that's rude. <laughs> Sorry, Akemi. I feel kind of bad that we're not going after him right away since you tracked us down and all. Oh, that's hardly a problem. This is your decision, after all. I expected you to find your own course of action. Thanks for understanding. Then I guess that wraps things up for the day. Try to get some good sleeping in, folks. You'll need it. Oh, and nobody better be late meeting up tomorrow. Excuse you? Isn't that my line? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Are you actually smiling, Ko? Hey, Tachibana. Be sure to set your internal clock right before you go to bed this time. Same goes for you. Don't stay up into the wee hours of the morning watching anime. <sighs> you know how many times this day is repeated? I've already seen everything worth watching. Have a moment of your time. Cannon? My, I'm flattered to see you so flabbergasted by my presence. Why are you here? Well, that's a silly question. I've been here for quite some time. But you were just with Kasuga. I am me, and yet I am not. Therefore, I can be here right now. So you're a different person then? A different person, you say? The answer to that depends on what your definition of a person is. Can a delusion contractor be rightfully called a person? Even if he is but a delusion given human form? Huh? 
Am I a delusion in human form, though? Or am I a human birthed from a delusion? That's gonna take some unpacking. There may not be an answer to that question, for in the end, I am but an avatar. Avatar? Yes, the delusion contractor avatar. Myself, and yet, not me. And yet, though I am not myself, I am. You're talking in circles. Just tell me what you want with me. Oh, that. It's something quite simple. I wish to lodge a complaint with you. For the one who made me what I am today, the one responsible for everything going on, is you. That day, my world changed. Crumbled away without a sound. And that's how I know that this world is a godless one. So I began to dream. I didn't want much, just one friend. And then I met him, my single, solitary best friend, who changed my world forever. Ideals don't make the world go round, or at least they shouldn't. Why, I wonder, why did you ever make that wish? Why? Why would you have ever wished for anything at all? It's all fake. It's all delusion. And it's all your fault. Huh? Was that all... a dream? Well, look at that! I woke up pretty dang early, if I do say so myself. Uh, it's kind of nice getting up early enough in the morning to see the sun peak. But what was all that nonsense about everything being my fault? Asahi? Yo, Mizuki! What's up? I mean, aside from you, surprisingly. This is way before we were scheduled to meet up. I woke up early. Ha! <laughs> That's actually kinda cute. You're like a grade schooler on the morning of a field trip or something. See? This kind of abuse is why I never wake up early. Ha! <laughs> Point taken. You look kinda down, though. Something happened? Well... Hmm? Sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. Whatever's going on, you can feel free to talk to me about it anytime you want. Okay, thanks. And since we're both here early, how about we go for a walk? Might cheer you up. Huh? But didn't you have something to do? Isn't that why you're up this early? No, nothing in particular. I'm just always up this early. Because unlike you, Asahi, I live a healthy, productive life. Hey, I've been doing pretty okay for myself since I started fighting monsters and stuff. I'll say. Anyway, how about that walk? <laughs> 